Good morning. This is the Ramblings of a Disciplined Mind podcast for Wednesday, November 18th, 2015. So yesterday was a, a, an evening. It was kind of a surprising evening. I got a couple surprises, two of which, which were very nice, and one of which I didn't really like. <laughs> It was really more of an annoyance than anything, but I, I thought it was kind of a funny story. So, so I thought I'd share it. Uh, so first of all, Tuesday night is my accounting class. You know, we're counting down to it. I, we were supposed to get exam or test three back last night, and we did actually. And then we've got, you know, the schedule was we got last night, and we got next Tuesday. And then the Tuesday after that would be test four. And at that point, what he's always told us is he will give us, he was going to like grade them that night. So you'll know you're great on your test and your final grade that night. And then if you're happy with your grade, you don't have to take the fifth cumulative final. That's optional. That's just there as a way for people to bring up their grades if they're not happy with their grades. That's always been the plan. He's talked about that multiple times. So I was looking forward to lopping off these last two weeks of the semester because last two weeks was going to be a a review and then exam five. So I was like, yes, that was my goal from day one is is to do well enough that... I could I could lop off those last two weeks, which would be nice because my Walsh class goes to like mid December, so it gives me, you know, time where I just got the one class, which would be really nice. So we get to class last night, and he goes, he's getting ready to hand out the exams, and he says, okay, so on your exams you've got two grades, and it's basically the scenario that he laid out. for what was going to happen after test four. He, he had the grade for the test, and he had our grade for the class. And if we wanted to accept that grade, then there were some conditions. We could accept that grade, and, and the conditions are we had, we had to turn in, we had to do in-class homework, and there was an in-class problem he was going to have us do, and turn that in, which is... Fine. I mean, we were doing the in-class work anyway, so we'll turn that in. There'll be another in-class work for next week. We got to turn that in, and then next week there's a quiz on this one chapter. Well, the stuff we're getting tested on is just dead freaking easy. So, uh, yeah, and and so on my test, I got an A. So I only got one question wrong, which gave me a 96. So I was pleased with that. My final grade is also an A. Because my test had been A plus AA. I mean, so I got an A. So how would I not accept that grade? <laughs> I can't bring it up anymore. I could only do damage to it. So, you know, I told him that I want to take this quiz next week. He's like, you can take it next week or you can take it the week after. Well, the whole reason I, I would want to bother is to, to eliminate one more week. So I don't want to be there the week after. Next. So, yeah, and he says it's just like a couple problems. It's not that big a deal. You know, basically what he admitted by the end of class is that he's not really terribly worried about how we do on the quiz or how we do on the on the in-class homework. He basically just wants us there in class next week, even if we're accepting our grade. And so that's his mechanism for making us come to class, which is fine. I can come to class one more time. I don't got a problem with that. You know, I don't have to study for a major test. And, and I don't have to worry about my grade. Because he, he said, you know, your grade is your grade. If you accept that grade, that's your grade. It's not going to change. So, yeah, so I'm lopping off one more week. I get, I get to go. I get to go. Next week I go. And this is a class that's across town. So I do that trek one more time next week. And I'm done. Which is a nice, it's nice to get, you know, I basically net one more week. Uh, early being done with that that class, but it's a big week because it's a week where I don't have to take yet another test, so I'm happy with that. That was a pleasant surprise, and I kind of had a feeling of, well, this can't be real (laughs) through most of class, but it, it is, so yeah, that was cool. That was a very nice surprise. I was not expecting that. I was thinking we got, you know, two weeks, we got X chapters, you know, Get this slog done. Get it done. 
you know, and, be, and, and be done. And I got out of class early because he was going to spend the back half of the class going through the test for the people that didn't do as well. So I was like, well, I don't need to stick around for that. So I was out of there about 8. Next week might be later because he said it was going to be a long class plus this quiz has got to get worked in someplace. You know, so we'll see. But I'd be willing to stay a little bit later if it means I'm done next Tuesday. So... So I got home, and I'm on the interwebs, and the second surprise came in. I got pinged on Facebook by August Grappen, who is one of the hosts of the Melting Podcast podcast. And I don't think I've talked about that podcast. I should. I'll have to look and see if I have. If I haven't, I'm well overdue in giving them an episode, although I might have. Not sure. I'll have to go search. Um. Because this might be episode 356, or yesterday was episode 356. I long ago stopped keeping track of the numbers here in the car because I can't. Uh, But that means, you know, I basically have produced a year's worth of podcasting on this. Which is kind of cool, because it kind of started as an experiment. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but... Or if anybody was going to listen. And while there aren't billions of you, there are people listening, and I appreciate that. And if you've listened to all 365, so that's 366, I applaud you. I'm sure you're in counseling by now. If not, I'm sure that it's recommended. (laughs) Anyway, so second surprise, August Grappen, who also goes by AF, I think, uh, which puts me in mind of uh, JR from Blade Runner. Um, And the little robots that come up and say, Good evening, JR. But anyway, I'm wow, I'm on the tangents. But he pinged me, uh, and it, he actually was forwarding a post from the Melting Podcast page, which I am, uh, which I have liked or subscribed to or following, whatever the proper terminology is on, fa- on Facebook, and said that uh, you know they do a cooking theme on the show. So he said the head chef, which I believe is him. Uh, had a couple things to give away. So he used a random number generator and picked out people who, the number of people who had joined, and he picked out two numbers, and it was somebody else, and it was me, and we get a prize. And then I was IMing with him over 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 Facebook Messenger, and it turns out that uh, what I'm going to get is a free month's worth of loot crate, a loot crate. And if you don't know what Loot Crate is, it's a subscription service. I seem to remember it was like 15 bucks a month or something. So it's probably you know, a little pricey for me. But you get, and you get every month, you get a box full of random geeky goodness. You don't know what you're going to get. I've seen some unboxing videos. And this might be an opportunity for me to do an unboxing video. When I get it, I might just go ahead and do, a, uh, do an unboxing video for that um, just so you can see what I got and see what I got when I got it what I got so yeah so I'm I'm supposed to be getting an email from the Loot Crate people uh, about a free month I'm sure it's one of these things where you gotta subscribe and then you get your free month and then I'll probably have to cancel Uh, but uh, yeah it seems seems, that was cool that was fun I mean I'm always up for prizes especially you know for something I didn't knew I hadn't entered for. I mean, every now and then I'll enter an online contest. The contest. Contest. I'm from the South all of a sudden. Every now and then I enter an online contest because my mom always said I should. All right, I'll stop. But, you know, not terribly often. Um, so that was quite a surprise. And then my, my, my story of mild frustration yesterday. Uh, he gave us a break at one point in our class. He usually does. And I went down to this little lobby area in the building where our classroom is, where they got some vending machines. And they got some chairs situated there, so people that are like in between classes, if they're out early, they'll sometimes congregate there and, and talk. And I get down there, and, and there's there are some people there talking. That's fine. And I want to get a pop. And I've got this, I got this coin purse, it's a leather coin purse, and it kind of opens up like an iris. Uh, or, yeah, like an iris, that's the right thing. Uh, or a shutter, you know. 
and it's pretty cool. I get a lot of comments from it when I when, when I use it at various stores. People are like, "Wow, where you get that?" But it's it's I got way too many coins in there. I don't know. I just I've just been I guess breaking more dollars and not using coins, and I got way too many coins, and it was to the point where you know coins leak out in my pocket, then I rattle when I walk. You know, nobody wants that. So I thought, well, I'm gonna get I'll get a pop. They have a diet sun-kissed orange that I like uh, for two reasons. Number one is diet. Number two, sun-kissed has no caffeine. So double win. No calories, no caffeine. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to use I'm going to use some of my coins because I need to get rid of some of these coins. And I put a quarter in and it just falls right down Falls right down and into the into the coin. What is it? The coin coin return slot. And I'm like, well, all right, what the hell? And I stick another coin in. It does the same thing. And I, I try like two or three of my quarters, and it does the same thing. I'm like, all right, well, I really wanted the pop. It was more than just using up the coins. I wanted a pop. So, uh, all right, I'll break down. <laughs> I'll break yet more dollars. So I pull out a couple ones and I, I stick them in. Thank God I had ones. Jeez, if I had put a five in, wow. Anyway, uh, I put a couple ones in and I hit the buttons for my, my pop and it gives me an error. Cannot uh, provide change. And I'm like, okay, so the whole coin thing is broken. It's just broken. All right, fine. So. I hit the coin return, expecting it to spit out my dollars. It did not spit out my dollars. Instead of here, ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, ping, 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 and a bunch of coins fill up the coin return slot. And I am like, are you kidding me? And I reach in there and I pull out four quarters and a gold dollar coin. I don't know if it was... I didn't look at it close enough to see if it was Susan B. Anthony. Although maybe those were two dollars. I, I don't know. Probably Pocahontas. I got no code. Dollar coin. Gold color. And I'm just like, are you freaking killing me? And there was one guy that was sitting in that group and he's like, you know, sooner or later, you know, before long, somebody's gonna gonna knock those darn things over. And, and I was like, I can see that. And I told him the situation with my coin person. I said, so what do I get more coins? And he's like, where's my sledgehammer? And we laughed, you know. So that was just kind of like. <sighs> but the good news was I got back to class and and he spent, he spent like 10 more minutes going over one little thing with this other chapter. And then he's like, okay, time to go over test. If you got 96 or above, there's probably no reason for you to stick around. So bing, bang, boom, I was gone. And then I stopped at a gas station and got a pop. Got a caffeine-free day and Coke, my preference. But, yeah, so that was kind of funny slash annoying. So that was my evening. That was my evening. All in all, I'd give it an A. That was, a, that was maybe even an A+. Plus. That was a nice evening. Even though I was at class, I got a nice surprise there. Got, got a prize coming. I mean, what's... And, and, you know, probably the loot crate stuff will be worthy of, like, displaying in my man cave. So that's going to be cool. Get some new new fodder for that. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Anyway. Um, I think that'll be it for today. Today is Wednesday. Right, tomorrow's Thursday. That's how that works, I think. And I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.